What do rice dishes around the world look like? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And welcome to season 23. <laughs> That's right. Brand new year, brand new season. And uh, has anything else changed? Oh, uh, no, no, nothing's changed. My, my, my arm's not in a sling. Mm -hmm. It's not just you need your glasses. Yeah, I, uh, I broke my arm single-handedly carrying YouTube on my back. Oh. Okay. No, I broke my collarbone falling off Ouch. my mountain bike. Uh, We're sorry. We're sorry for you. So, yeah, so for most, if not all of this month, my arm is going to be in a sling, but I'm going to be positive. I'm very positive about this, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be distributing all of my right arm energy into all of my other limbs to make this the best start of a season ever. That's right, and it is no coincidence that it is GMM season 23, and it's also the year 2023. That is the sole reason that we decided to start this show back when we did, so we can have this moment. Right, that and we were simply not trying to go broke at the time. Well, I don't wanna emphasize that. So finally, after 11 years, in honor of GMM season 23 in the year 2023, we can finally enact our plan to celebrate. That's right, you guessed it. We purchased 23 trombones and taught 23 mythical crew members how to play them. Get on out here, you crazy kids! Woo! Sounds great. Good. Keep it up. Pull it together. That was only 22. Are you, are you guys serious right now? That was, that was only 22. The, I wasn't kidding. I've been thinking about this for over a decade. I didn't sleep last night. Hey, hey. Shut up for a second, listen to me. The, the, we, we've been working, we've been talking about this for months. 23, season 23, 2023, 23 trombones, not freaking 22 trombones. I'm not mad, I'm just, I'm just disappointed. It's time for Where in the World Do These International Rice Dishes Come From? All right, we're gonna throw a dart at the country we think the rice dishes that we're gonna taste came from and chase the no more Mr. Rice guy cartographer yeah. is of course here to kick off the year and measure how far our fart. How far. Uh, oh, that cheers me right back up. Yeah, there's a little fart joke. You're back in there. Yeah, I'm back. Come on, man. Top of the year. Yeah. He's going to measure how fart we are from the correct answer. <laughs> oh, well timed, Chase. <laughs> Whoever has a low score wins a serving of one minute nice. I'm going to be throwing with my left arm because Link has to throw with his left arm. But me too. I don't know if that would be enough of an advantage. So, Link, you're also going to get in one round the ability to. Dig into a bag of rice, which has the correct answer for that round on a piece of paper, but you have to find it in five seconds. And then once I find it, I still have to aim at it with my left hand. That's true. <laughs> and again, all right. neither one of us have, I mean, I haven't been practicing anything with my left hand, anything. Um, I, I haven't done much over the break. Okay, all right, just making sure, let's do this. We have an omelet of some sort. It's I guess it's got rice in oh, it. Oh, it's a rice-filled omelet. Is that all it is? 
Is and it's got, rice in uh, there? There's peas. There's ketchup on the outside. Looks like there's some corn. Oh, that's chicken. Is that chicken? Man, that's quite tasty. I've never even thought about putting rice in an omelet, Link. It totally works. Hmm. Ooh, that's good. Okay, since I, I mean, it's kind of like a burrito. In oh, a, don't an give omelet. me any hints. Oh, yeah, because you have to go first. <laughs> yeah, I have not attempted to throw anything with my left hand, um, but I was given a nice snazzy. That's a nice sling. Sling by the art department. Not only does it say GMM over here, thank you, uh, but it also, let me hold this up, oh, check that out. It's signed by members of the mythical crew because uh, with a broken collarbone, you can't get a cast, but you can still get the signatures. Woo. Ooh, let's put Exciting. it back down. Thank you for making that for me. You're welcome. Oh, ri oh it, you was in, it was in my direction. I took it around to everyone's uh, office space and got them to sign it. So go ahead and move that dart to your left hand. You know? Oh, that feels weird. <laughs> it does, yeah. I mean, try to put on deodorant. I, I mean, fix your hair. I actually feel like. Put on a shirt. There's a chance I won't hit the board. Gesture wildly. <laughs> okay, I'm Roll gonna, over in bed to. Right, we know you've been having a, a real tough smooch. time. We're, we all feel, we all, we all feel so, so much sympathy for you. Okay, you might think. I have to use my blow dryer uh, to dry off my entire body. Hmm. Of course, I already did that. Unfortunately, it was not his mouth that was broken. <laughs> it was his shoulder. So, typically, if you saw something like rice inside of some eggs that you you know you were talking about burrito, you might be down there in South America. But the people of South America, they would not be called dead putting ketchup on something like this. They got sauces for days that are way more exquisite and complex than ketchup. Mm. But what I have observed about the eastern part of Europe, otherwise known as Eastern Europe. They'll put ketchup on anything. I spent some time in Poland. They put ketchup on everything. Things that you sh that shouldn't have ketchup. Oh, really? Yeah. And they had rice? I mean, they got, they got, I didn't have this. But I don't know. I'm just going with where I've seen them put ketchup on things that don't need ketchup. Oh, oh not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, I don't, I have to take the ketchup into account. Um, they will put ketchup on things in in Asia as well, like and Southeast now, Asia. I mean, you talk about rice being prolific. Hey, listen, I want you to win. I'm going to say Malaysia would be my was the second place I was going to go. Just so you know. Ooh, that's weird. All right, but you might miss the whole board if you go for Malaysia. Going for Poland, I've got oh, what, to really? turn the tide. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking Poland anyway. They put ketchup on everything. Okay, there, all right. You know, how's that feel? Very awkward. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know what? That was a practice gesture. There was no dart in my hand. Now I'm gonna pick up a okay, dart. Okay, just so, just so you know. <laughs> technically, that- I didn't hear anything. Technically, that's an automatic 50. Come on, man, we just started. But it's the new year. <laughs> I'm in a giving, giving spirit. Don't miss it again, because I'm going to give you a 50 if you miss it again, okay? It was like, I expected to hit the board. I was like, listening for it. Like, it still hasn't landed. <laughs> hit one of the trombonists. Oh, oh, <laughs> there it goes. Just landed. Go a little lower this time. Where does the hand start? I don't know what's happening, man. I don't know what's happening. Okay, all right. Well, well hey, you're on the board. Be proud of yourself. Oh, this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> <laughs> you just had omu rice, a dish that is a linguistic and literal mashup of omelet and rice topped with ketchup. It's a beloved staple, especially enjoyed by children in Japan. Japan! Oh, they'll Japan. put ketchup on things for kids in Japan, apparently. I didn't know that. All right, Rhett, you had 27, and Link, 49. Oh, well, okay, so, I mean, you got one better than missing the board. Yeah, That's right. Like, you're in it for the long grain. That's right. Oh, nice. Look at this. Is this a pazuki? It is. Put it on this plate here. Oh, my. And then when you turn this around, you can see that there's... It's rice pie. I'm going to eat straight from this part. There's, there's a little... chicken. Is it... 
And there's a little, what's that blue thing? That's a blueberry. Is it? It is. So blueberry, there's a, there's rice. A, there's almonds on the outside. Chicken. This is very bland. Yeah, it feels like it needs. More blueberries. Sauce. Something. I like the presentation, but. Putting fruit inside of rice with nuts, hmm. that's a Middle Eastern thing. At least it can be. I'm sure they do it other places as well. And also, is this chicken or turkey? <laughs> Does it matter really? <laughs> it matters, Link. It matters because you know the capital, the world capital of Turkey is Turkey. Oh gosh. So last time I was way right and high. So that means my left, maybe, I don't know if I'm consistent though. Oh, oh okay, all right, okay, throw. okay. What? Did you like do free throws with your left hand or something? I mean, back in the day maybe, but not in the recent days. Not this year. I know that Ethiopia likes big breads. Yeah, right. And I've this is like that. a big bread that's then folded over itself. I like big breads and, and I can't out lie. And created like a calzonish <laughs> pie with nuts. Why would they throw in a little bit of a berry in anywhere but Ethiopia? Yeah, yeah. That's a good, good thought, Link. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay, okay. I'm still high. Yeah, yeah. You hit I'm my dart, high. as a matter of fact. Thank you for that. You just had pear de pilavi. Dough filled with rice, chicken, currants, currants, almonds, and pine nuts. It's typically prepared for weddings because it symbolizes the building of a new home, while rice symbolizes fertility, and the currants are a sign of future children. This traditional j dish is enjoyed in Turkey. Mm. Ah, Turkey. You jerky. Mm. I'm starting to kind of like it. Especially if I think about a wedding setting. I mean, they just, you, where's the sauce? You don't wanna get too, you know, you don't wanna get too much sauce because you wanna get out on the dance floor. You don't want anything to be on your pants. You come here on the day of my daughter's wedding and you ask me to read the scores. Was that your Marlon Brando? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The old rice mouth. Right, you had seven, Link, 15. Mm. Hey, that's pretty respectable. Pretty respectable. Hey, Link, that's a nice hoodie. Oh, yeah, check it out. Oh, nice hoodie. Oh, yeah, check it out. We got some new hoodies, y'all, and t-shirts. It if Also, joggers. Uh-huh. We got a whole collection that we're launching. Yes, uh, a lot of it features this geometric, geometric, geometric. Get it? It's geometric. And the name of our <laughs> show is GMM. Yeah, yeah. Burgundy crystal wash set as well. Go to mythical.com, check out the new stuff. Yeah. It appears that we have pudding. some sort of a pudding with some crushed pecans on top. Is it rice pudding? It is rice pudding, I assume, given the nature of this episode. Ooh, it is cinnamony. cinnamony mini mm, I love this. There's raisins in there. Mm. I am a fan of puddings. I did want to point out that another thing that we took from the GMM Marathon is the Falkland Islands. Falkland Islands are on the map every time from here on out. All right, you're gonna go first. I am. Link, this makes me think of Flan. Flan? This makes me think of Flan. Which I don't know if Flan is a is, a, is made from rice. Uh, but I know that Flan, um, I've had it, I've had it here in California, actually, believe it or not. I believe um, it. But I believe it comes from Mexico, uh, which is the closest uh, to Peru, and maybe some flan like filtered down through Central America, squeezed itself out and turned into this in Peru, because that's how food m makes its way through the world. Maybe it's just Falkland Islands, just go for that. So I'm going Peru, but I'm, you know, it could be one of those many other countries over there to the right, so I don't want to be too far off here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not mean to go that far to the right. That looks like a wuss throw. I tried to hit Brazil. I tried to hit Brazil. <sighs> this is nice. Last time I ate rice pudding was at an Indian restaurant. It was fabulous. Mm. 
It is India is not one of the things, so I'm gonna use my lifeline so that I can oh. get the right answer. Give me that sack. Okay, Link, I'm gonna hand you this bag of rice. I'm gonna untie it. It has the correct answer in it and a piece of paper. You have to dig through it. You will have five seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and open the top for you. I'm gonna set it in front of you. We're gonna count down. <laughs> five. Hold on, hold on, no. <laughs> I, you're gonna you're gonna set it down, and then I'm gonna put my hand in, and then you're gonna start. I have five seconds to search. Well, what were you looking in there for? To see if it was like sitting on top. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna make it yeah, easy. All right, I'm ready. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. <laughs> like sands through an hourglass. <laughs> um, that was hard with one hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> and yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. maybe it wasn't even in there. Yeah. No, oh, I bet it was in there. Let me get. Can I have another try? You can have a three. You have three seconds this time. All right. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> My favorite part is how you hold it up and then and then and then wish that it was there. And just wish. Damn it. Uh, I'm sorry, Link. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's tough. It's tough being me. You got any guesses? Well, what's the closest? door to Peru is wide open. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I think um, that's their slogan. Rice pudding. This is Ethiopia. That's not that far. I mean, the A in Ethiopia is really close to India. So what somebody who's watching might be thinking is Link. It might be Ethiopia, but Link, but Rhett, this one, is pretty close to Ethiopia, so you're not going to gain much in the way of advantage by but, going for Ethiopia. But if I'm right, huh. then... But if it is Peru. I have to be as close as I can to the right answer. That's true. I'm See, just saying. I mean, if it ends up being Ethiopia and you go for Peru, then everybody would be mad at me, but I'm just saying. But I'm, if I go for Peru, everyone's like, all he does is copy Rhett's answer. Ah, uh, that's true. It's just like. You can't win. Uh, it's tough, I'll just have some rice I am starting to believe that. <laughs> Honestly, I was aiming for Peru. <laughs> the honest truth is I aimed for Peru. Okay. And I landed right, right next, next to, to you. My, my daughter. What yeah. a worthless. <laughs> Result. Hey, 2023 is gonna be a great year, y'all. <laughs> it's gonna be a great year. Okay, this dessert is called arroz zambito. It's traditionally made with raisins, anise, and coconut, and then garnished with toasted pecans. And you can find it in Peru. <laughs> no! <laughs> I tried, man. I aimed, but I did too. <laughs> like I'm not playing the victim. <laughs> I just uh, am I the victim? <laughs> I'm uh, not in of what? I'm not playing the victim. I am just the victim. Everyone, please arroz. Yeah, like like Well, it would have been made more sense to just say please rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I appreciate the effort, Chase. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the club, man. <laughs> right, yeah, uh, 29, Link 27. Hey, 27, that's two better than what I got. That's right, I beat you that round. That's right. Look at this, Link. That's a big one. And this is all rice, just solid? And it's kind of got a custardy kind of quality Ooh. to it, like there's some egg that's holding this together. Yeah, look oh, at and it's got layers. Oh man, there's something inside there. What is it? It's goodness. It's meat. It's meat! Is it turkey? Hmm. Wow. That's some good stuff, dude. I like this, man. Okay, but I gotta I gotta throw. This is some this is some good stuff. It's pretty decadent. Well, this is a mystery round. Yes, we're only doing four rounds here. Typically we do five, but there was a whole trombone thing at the beginning. <laughs> I've seen many a TikTok video where 
a group of people will be sitting around and they'll have a pot and some guy will come out of the corner and throw something like this on a table. And then everybody comes in and eats it. Usually it's not this well put together. It kind of falls apart, but it's like a rice cake kind of thing. And every single time I see one of these videos, there's like Middle Eastern music playing in the background of the TikTok video. So I'm using the, my TikTok discernment skills to say that this is enough like that to tell me that this is somewhere from the Middle East. So that's where I'm throwing it. <sighs> Oh, a little bit low. little low. Oh, you know what, Link? I thought there was a bit of uh, a cardamom flavor in that. Oh, even better. Link. Uh, so where's cardamom? Here, here's the thing. <laughs> cardamom, uh, contrary to popular belief, is not a country. Oh. We are gonna give you the bag again, okay? Or let me just say, I am going to give you the bag again, okay? I Out of the goodness of my fart. All right. <laughs> And I've got. I'm getting really good at being patronized. And Let's I've do this. got. And, and listen, I've been told that they didn't put any more rice in there. There's less rice, and I've been told that the answer is in there twice. But you still have five seconds in one hand, okay? I'm gonna take it. Go. Five, five four, three, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> oh, it's in there! I got it. I got it. I have my own little victory. That was dramatic. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm not going to look and see what it is. Okay. Where is that? <laughs> All right, I got it. Here we go. Oh, yep, that's exactly what I was aiming for. Mongolia. Where were you aiming, Link? No, you know what, don't tell me. Don't tell me, I don't wanna know. I wanna find out where it's from. You just had tachin, a savory rice delicacy resembling a cake or casserole. It's made with layers of saffron spiced rice alongside meat or vegetables. Saffron, not cardamom. And topped with red barberries, or barberries, or pistachios and served with yogurt. This dish is eaten on special occasions in Iran. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Uh, I knew that. Yeah, totally. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. My aim was just a little off. Yep, yep. <sighs> Well, shoot. All right, before I do the scores, I want you to say hello to my little friends. <laughs> Rhett, you had 15. Link, Link, 10. Hey, 10 and 10. Look at us, friends. We can agree to move on from this <laughs> No, we're coming as friends. Yeah, I mean, but we're gonna play this game again, you know, next month, probably. And you've got a whole, you've right, got, you've got right. lots of time. I, I'll come right. up with something and I'll have my other arm by then. Congratulations, Rhett. You won 60 seconds of compliments. A minute of nice. I'm looking forward from to From me and Good Mythical More. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Kayla. Behind me are some rice fields because I'm in Thailand and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Always be quietly around the rice, rice fields. Rice is growing. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us discover some of the most expensive rice products in the world in Good Mythical More. Hey! to find out where the well of mythicality is gonna land. Is hip to be square or triangular? Shop the new GM metric logo collection at mythical.com.